Welcome to a new edition of Showtime with Coop. Insightful BS with my Laker teammates and NBA legends. And I like to do something a little different and bring in some, I don't want to call them ordinary people, but <laughs> just some, some of, the, of the fans. And today, Nick, we have somebody, and when I introduce him, I'm going to let him say his spiel. Josh was a longtime Laker fan, NBA historian. Welcome to the show, Josh. Showtime with Coop is powered by FanDuel, the exclusive wagering partner of the CLNS Media Network. Um, but I know that everyone from the 1971-72 Lakers wanted him to feel that he was a part of that championship. But he's one of those players that his actual impact on the game means more than his numbers, his stats. He scored 61 points in game five of the 1962 NBA World Championship Series. That's still the record for most points scored in an NBA Finals game, 61 points. He was absolutely ma magnificent. Well, they won game five. They lost the series in game seven because Bill Russell secured 40 rebounds, which, which we would expect from Bill Russell, but he also added 30 points to the scoreboard. The Celtics won uh, 110 to 107 in overtime. Of course, remember Bob Cousy dribbling out the clock. Um, and as I was mentioned, was that the hot rod or was that the, the Hundley game where he missed the didn't Frank miss Selby? The uh, Selby, Frank yeah, Selby. Frank Selby. Yeah, hot rod pass it to Selby. He missed the shot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And listen, Jerry West was Mr. Clutch. He probably would have delivered in that situation, but they weren't able to get it to him. Elgin would have been an option too, though. Well, sure. Elgin would have been an option too. And but Josh, hold it, hold it. I gotta give you my next number, okay? He was also one of the great rebounders ever, Elgin. He really number was. Number 17. Number 17, that's the same number of championships as the Lakers, the Celtics, and Bill Sharman have amassed in the Lakers and Celtics in the NBA and Bill Sharman in professional basketball. 17 total. Can that, I that's what that that's what that and, and listen, the Lakers are trying to fight for their 18 championship this year. The Celtics are also trying to fight for the 18 championship this year, but that's a number. When I think of 17, that that's the first thing that comes to my mind. Certainly right now. Number 31, Kurt Rambis. Kurt Rambis was one of those players that his impact was more vast and immense than his actual stats. He, he supplied so much hustle and determination and heart when it came to diving in the stands for a loose ball or scrape or diving onto the floor to scrape his knees, securing rebounds, and then throwing that outlet pass so that the Showtime Lakers could get their fast break rolling into high gear. And the Lakers couldn't have had a better defensive player normally uh, protecting the perimeter in you Michael Jerome Cooper but then they had Kurt Rambis protecting the interior so between you protecting usually the perimeter around that area and then Kurt Rambis protecting the interior that made that made them um, the Showtime Lakers such an effective team defensively because yes the Lakers were known for the fast break but you can't get the fast break rolling into high gear in the first place if you don't shut down your opposition on defense and Kurt Rambis was a key part of four of the five Lakers championship teams during the Showtime era take your first swig at betting MLB on FanDuel and get 10 times it's 10 times your first bet amount of bonus bets and up to 200 dollars just bet 20 bucks and you'll land 200 dollars in bonus bets win or lose that's 200 you could spend betting everything from the money line to the over under to who you think is going to be well hitting the first home run all in the app that's safe secure it's super easy to use plus when you win you get paid instantly there's no better place to bet on mlb than FanDuel, america's number one sports book so sign up today and visit FanDuel.com slash Boston and get up to $200 in bonus bets. That's FanDuel.com slash Boston. FanDuel, official partner of Major League Baseball. The year, 1963. The Boston Celtics defeated the Los Angeles Lakers in six games in the NBA World Championship Series. Bill Russell was the MVP of the NBA, and uh, and he also was the All-Star Game MVP, for whatever it's worth. The year, 1969. 
The Boston Celtics defeated the Los Angeles Lakers in seven games in the NBA World Championship Series. Jerry Allen West delivered one of the most magnificent performances in the history of the NBA Finals in Game 1. 53 points and 10 assists. But the series went to seven, and in Game 7, the Celtics won 108 to 106, even in spite of Jerry West's effort. 42 points, 13 rebounds, 12 assists. The Celtics came up victorious. We all remember Don Nelson's shot where it um, bounced up and it came right back down. But um, it marked Bill Russell's 11th and final championship in 13 years. and was the 11th and final championship for the Celtics during that era. It was also Sam Jones' 10th and final championship in a span of 12 years. Um, but Jerry, no, will. The finals, Jerry West was the finals MVP. And it was the only circumstance ever still to this day where a player was awarded the finals MVP in a losing effort. It was the first time that they ever established that award that's since been named after Bill Russell. But uh, Wes Unseld was the MVP of, of the season in 1968-69. And he's one of only two rookies to achieve that award. Of course, Wilton, Wilton Norman Chamberlain in 1959-1960, mm. he averaged over 37 points and 20 he averaged 27 rebounds i mean that's wilton norman chamberlain for you but, okay uh, yeah, next number josh next year 1970 1970 so willis reed became the first of three players and it was the first of four circumstances where a player was named the mvp the all-star game mvp and the finals mvp in the same season willis reed we are but of course Walt Clyde Frazier in game set. Now, this is something that needs to be talked about more. In, in game seven of the 1970 NBA World Championship Series, Walt Clyde Frazier finished with 36 points and 19 assists. He couldn't have been more outstanding scoring. He couldn't have been more outstanding passing 19 assists. And yet he was even more outstanding on defense. And he did such a great job on Jerry West. He understood and appreciated, just like you understood and appreciated when you were matched up against Larry Bird. You're not going to stop a player like Jerry West. All you could try to do is slow him down. And he slowed Jerry West down a little bit. He, 36 points and 19 assists. God, was he magnificent on offense. But uh, And I should just say that the since I mentioned that Willis Reed was the MVP, the All-Star Game MVP, and the Finals MVP, in 1969-70, I should mention the other circumstances where that happened. Michael Jordan, 1995-1996. Michael Jordan, 1997-1998, the last and season. And then Shaquille Rashawn O'Neal in 1999-2000. Well, there you have it. Josh, we're going to have to have you on again, man. Really I would love really, to come I'm on again. Absolutely. Uh, Nick, any words for Josh? Gosh, I got to get your number, dude. You got you need a job. Man. I got to hire you. What the frig here, man? You, you need a show. I got to get paid, man. I, I barely gotten paid. Everybody got to get paid. Well, that's why we do it, right? To get paid, Absolutely. but also, you know, pe young people, man, it's, it's refreshing to see somebody young like you that has this kind of knowledge. I mean, I was going to say, let's get Bob Ryan and Peter Vesey on and we'll go around the horn with him. I've but corrected I the NBA.com website. I think, I think you will beat Bob and peter because they've forgotten more than you know you know what i'm saying i mean i mean that in a good way. I, I think you'll stump them because like you're saying with the lakers uh, uh documentary i you know you pick up that stuff right where they mess up the score or they mess up the year and they do that every once in a while man you are spot on i'm well, impressed man so i really enjoyed meeting you and Same. Uh, for sure yeah, absolutely come back anytime please I would Josh, love there you have it. Another edition of Showtime with Pooch. Wow. Josh, you know what? I, I, I hope I created some time you on. myself. You yeah, did. I have you on. Uh, Josh, thank you, sir. And remember, the Lakers are going to win. The Celtics are going to lose. That's <laughs> all we have to stay focused on right now. Okay? Have a good one, Nick. See you, Josh. Thank you. Bye. Showtime with Coop is powered by FanDuel the exclusive wagering partner of the CLNS Media Network.